big changes could be coming to the search engine many of us use every day. Back in August, when a federal judge ruled that Google has an illegal monopoly over internet searches, the next big question became, what will be done to change that? In this filing of proposed remedies from the Department of Justice, which brought the case against Google, the plaintiffs say that could include a breakup of the company. All companies, whether they're big or small, do better and deliver more for the public when they have other companies, competitors nipping at the heels. Another potential remedy, prevent Google from using products such as Chrome, Play and Android to advance Google search and Google search related products and features. Google calls the DOJ's proposals radical and says they risk hurting consumers, businesses and developers. Their vice president of regulatory affairs says government overreach in a fast moving industry may have negative unintended consequences for American innovation and America's consumers. We look forward to making our arguments in court. Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna, who represents Silicon Valley, agrees. The idea that you would break them up, especially with ChatGPT, has got over 100 million users. They're actually having the most competition today than ever before. There are plenty of other cases against Google, like those going after its data collection practices that some users claim violate their privacy. And if plaintiffs are successful there, it could force Google to abandon methods that help generate the bulk of its revenue. They have intentionally designed their product to be addictive. Arkansas Attorney General Tim Griffin is suing not just Google, but YouTube and their parent company Alphabet for allegedly harming children's mental health by violating the state's Deceptive Trade Practices Act, which Google disputes pointing to its child safety features. On all these issues, from privacy to child safety, almost all big tech companies are targets for law enforcement and lawmakers. But they're met with teams of lobbyists and lawyers who are fighting just as hard to keep government out of their business. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting.